we'll see how this comes out. Uh, I'm just tacking the uh, tension control rod plate onto the end. Uh, I may do a couple of these and then uh, decide uh, where I want to go with the video. Maybe a little hard to hear over the uh, TIG weld around in the back there. It's got a fairly noisy fan. So what I'm doing is I'm mocking them up on the uh, 520 frame stub here. Same geometry as the 521. Uh, the angles on these will be the uh, same for the uh, for the tension control rods. We're basically the same as the 320. Certainly close enough. So uh, part of this is just a record for myself, so I remember how the heck to do it. I really need to uh, figure out how to. Uh, jig this so that I don't need the frame clip to do this because uh, I'd really rather not have to keep the frame clip around for uh, <laughs> this kind of thing once I'm done with it. Alright, just enough to hold it there. Uh, the gap's kind of big over here so every now and then I use rod. Basically what I've done is I've uh, gotten rid of the foot switch uh, and a wire, I hooked up the uh, finger trigger here because all I'm doing is tacking. Uh, I want just as much amps as hard as fast as I can. Uh, so instead of having to deal with the uh, foot pedal, I'll just uh, hit the trigger, and uh, it's so much easier when you tack with them. Use a little bit of rod there with the tack wall because you can fuse it, but uh, trying to uh, get it to melt across the gap there can uh, really take quite a bit of heat and everything. And you got to kind of float it around. It'll do it, but uh, having a little rod right there sure uh, sure makes it a lot faster. That block is in there just to keep this from bouncing around. flip the frame over physically and uh, move that aluminum bushing and uh, set things up for, uh, oops, I don't like that too much. One, one thing to keep in mind, the sway bar mount goes toward the front of the rig, so I'm uh, trying to pay particular attention. I'll double check everything once, once it's all tacked and that stuff, make sure that I in fact that everything on the sides they're supposed to be on before I start doing the final welding. Once I do the final welding, boy, I'll just have to start over with another set of arms if uh, I messed something up. didn't get that bolt all the way through into the bottom of the arm to get it registered there so if you saw that it was tilted that way and I noticed that my little uh, plate I'm trying to tack on here was hanging off the end here farther than it should have so uh, uh, 
Luckily, I caught that. That would have been uh, rather annoying to have to. Yeah, that's much better. It would have been uh, annoying to have to come back and reposition that. And it is much better to uh, sit there and let the post flow, the argon, sit there and flow over until it cools down. These are tacks. They're not getting that hot. I'm really not too concerned with it because they're going to get uh, buried under uh, a bunch of uh, MIG welding anyway. compound angle. It's not perfectly square with this plate. And obviously you can see the angles there and everything, so uh, uh, it's, it'd, be, it'd be pretty hard to jig. Uh, I still haven't quite figured out maybe uh, maybe something mounted off of here that you know has a hole at that angle, like put a bolt through hold it. I'm not exactly sure. That's part of the reason why I'm just using the frame. It'd take me uh, longer to uh, figure out how to hold it in a jig and build the jig for it than it would to just simply do it this way. So I'm just letting it go at that. <laughs> 